Hi friends, welcome to Aero uh, Design Studio. Uh, now we'll be uh, we'll be learning the next object, which is uh, on screen. Uh, you can just have a look over it. It's a geometric figure, and we'll be making this uh, object into Fusion 360, or it is Fusion 360. Uh, if you guys have referred my previous tutorials, you can just go through the tutorials and you can learn the basic mannerisms uh, to be incorporated in this using this uh, software. So let's start this object in, uh, in Fusion 360. Um, as usual, we'll be just splitting the object into some parts like this is the base plate, uh, then this is the cylinder, this is one of the arcs, uh, arc rib and this one extension to be joined with these two cylinders. Now, uh, first of all, we'll be making the base plate. Now, just look at it. This base plate uh, can't be made uh, on the base plane. Uh, as if you make it that way, it will take two operations. Whereas, we just want to complete this base plate into one single operation. So, let us extrude it this way, this direction by 56. And let us, let us make this section, this total section, the way it is. So, uh, the length of the total base plate is 75 plus 90 and this is 56 extrusion is by 56 so this is uh, 75 plus 90 that is will be coming over here for my ease I'll be making the origin on or uh, not essentially it is uh, uh, not essential to make it on I'll go in sketch I'll say create sketch and uh, this will not be my sketching plane today this will be my sketching plane as I'm going to make the uh, base plate first so uh, I'm just going to make it now. I'll just uh, start from this origin, okay? And I'll just uh, drag a line this way. So it is 75 and uh, I'll write it down over here plus 90. Sorry. 75 plus uh, 90. So that is 165 total. So this is the total span of 165 mm. This is 16 and this is 27. So here comes the difference. So I say L for line, this is uh, 16 and this is 27, you can see it, I've made it this way. Now one more basic thing I'll be doing is I'll uh, drag this this way and I'll come this dimension by 90 and I'll come this uh, dimension by 75. Something is going wrong. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll just make sure what is happening, this is 75. And uh, I'll just make it once again. 75 plus 90. That's correct. So I just need to commit over here. I can uh, just make this line and I can even uh, trim it this way. T for trim. And this is the thing that I have created over here. I'll just make one circle uh, right here. The diameter of the circle is. Uh, 50 so that is 50 now I locate the dimension of this and this D the center of the circle and uh, this line this D the dimension is uh, 36 it is given away the center to base so this is 36 I'll just trim it down I'll just trim this I don't need this I don't need this and I don't need this so this is my base plate now I'll just finish it stop sketch and uh, I'll just say E that is extrude. Now the total length of the extrusion is 56. So I'll be saying uh, symmetric this time. It's a new body might be. And uh, if it is symmetric that is 56 by 2. So it is total means 56 by 2. That is uh, uh, 23, um, 27 point something. And this is my object, the base plate that you, that you are looking at. I'll be making the cylinder over here and this cut out. So I'll just make uh, a sketch again with this again as the working plane. I'll make a circle over here. I'll click this and uh, I can you know I can uh, just make one thing. I'll just say project on the sketching plane. So this thing is being projected. I'll say OK. And I have a center over here right now so that I can use it as a reference. I can delete this. And again, I can just make it uh, a circle of 25 diameter. I'll hover it a bit and I'll just come down towards the intersection and I'll just join it this way. I can trim it. Uh, sorry. Just wish to make it trim. So 
this is the object which I'm supposed to uh, extrude. Okay, I click it and this is my extrusion again. I'll say extrude again this time two sides. I can say symmetric as well this time and uh, maintain a join and uh, extrude it by a distance of uh, sorry I have done some mistake I can just uh, revert it back to my original sketch so I can come it over here I can make a circle again I'll, I'm just change, changing the things in my original uh, base plate I can just trim it down now so no issues so we have this total change incorporated over here I can even change now I don't want this line I wish that the circle should be one so I'll just uh, delete it so that I can you know I can remake it this way I can just uh, draft it and I'll just place it over here so I have a circle over here I can say extrude now and I can extrude it uh, using symmetry and it is total 66 so this has to be 66 by 2 so this is the object which we have made right now okay so this edge will be a common edge that won't be there okay then comes uh, these two holes that will be drafting any time we can we can just select this as a sketching plane and you can say create sketch and uh, just you can place a circle on the mid plane that is uh, of 16 that is uh, 16 over here and uh, one more thing you can do is uh, you can just you know mirror it the way it is click it right click it and uh, just say normal construction you can just uh, go and sketch and say mirror and uh, you can just select the mirror line this way but uh, the dimensions are different I guess uh, here it is a line somewhere it's not given actually so let us assume that it is in the mid, mid of this something okay let us assume it this way I'll just make it again at 16 and what I can do is I can just refer these two lines in D and uh, this is Levi so this is at a correct location over here stop sketch I can uh, select these two and then say extrude and uh, I can just come in the reverse manner and uh, make sure that there is a cut option over here so you have this object over here there is a fillet uh, that will be adding later on now we will be making this uh, particular thing now now let us see that the thickness of uh, this uh, object that we are going to make is 17 uh, right and uh, just see it is 17 and uh, it is being made from this very plane of the cylinder ok let us assume that this is made from this uh, cylinder so I will be saying ok uh, I want this as a sketching plane and I can go to create sketch so, I have come to this portion now this is the very same center of that circle of the PCD 60 uh, plus 15 60 plus 15 should be 75 and uh, the diameter is uh, 75 plus plus um, 75 into 2 you can see so this is the circle you are opting for that's 150 okay because that is its diameter now what we will be doing is we will be making this particular geometry now you can just see uh, a line right from this point and you can draft a circle over here the circle radius should be um, here it might be given it's 15 uh, so that is 30 ok a line from this point to this to this and the circle again of 30 I just delete all this counter line so that uh, these lines won't trouble me I can draft one more circle right from this point to tangent of this again a circle from this point to tangent of this then I can go on trimming uh, and I'll just trim all the unnecessary data I don't need uh, sorry so I don't need this I don't need this I don't need this I don't need this 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 so uh, this is the object that we have created in a sketch of plane even what we'll be doing is we'll just make a circle over here that is uh, 12 phi this way so uh, I'm just going to now edit yeah you can go and say circular pattern 
uh, this is the object selected center point is this one and uh, quantity uh, I'll just say type and say angle so the angle should be 90 over here and the object should be 4 is it so yes it is so 4 and say ok so this is the object that we have created on, on this plane I'll say extrude it and extrude this by uh, making it join by some distance of uh, minus 17 because it is going in the back direction so this is the object that we have created right now now we just may, need to make this uh, rib now because as the object is I can just select this as a sketching plane I can come over here I can just uh, I just need to refer it uh, the tangent lines and this is basically of 30 uh, dimensions so I'll just come it down over here this way and one thing you can uh, surely do is you can just make it sure that you are mm, joining the offset and uh, you can just say 30 this way and uh, you have this object right now and uh, you can do one thing again you can just uh, select this edge this edge and this edge as well and say project so that you get a edge over there you can say trim now this one I don't need this one I don't need this one I don't need and this one I don't need okay so you have the object over here now you can simply say extrude over here stop sketch I'll say extrude and I'll come down here I'll make sure it is a join and it is minus 12 in dimension so this is the object that we have created now you can just simply say fillet F you can just tentatively give a dimension of 5 mm over here and uh, you can say edit feature I can add uh, fillets over here okay we'll add some different fillet over here I'll say uh, this is the fillet over here this is 5 this is 5 even and uh, as well as this should be 5 so this way we have created this object you can even uh, go here right click and edit feature and then you can uh, just say selections and uh, you can just add a selection set over here so this is the second selection set you can give some more fillet you wish to give if you wish to give that way so uh, this is the object that we have created right now in this series of features I just minimize it and you can see so guys we have completed this uh, tutorial uh, for Autodesk Fusion 360 it's a very simple geometric figure tutorial uh, that we are making and you can refer this you can make n number of objects you can get n number of objects from internet you can download them you can practice the software this software is really good for solid uh, modeling and many things can be done over it uh, step by step will be coming uh, to the more critical more meticulous part uh, day by day we proceed with the training sessions uh, right now we have started the channel and uh, at a very initial phase we are just introducing you to the software literally we will be concluding the total uh, surface sculpt module assembly module uh, inspect module everything rendering animation will be covering up and uh, everything so please be there with us uh, to experience the software and learn it uh, through and through at, as it is the face of the industry for tomorrow thanks a lot for being here I'm Rajan Pradhan uh, from Aero Design Studio training you guys. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.